I love me a good, delicious, crispy, and hot fish sandwich, and today I wanted to share with you guys the ultimate recipe. I'll be making my crispy mahi-mahi fish sandwich with cabbage slaw and a garlic aioli spread. This sandwich is going to satisfy all your cravings. It is so incredibly delicious and flavor packed. We're going to start with a super simple cabbage slaw using red and green cabbage. Then we'll make a smoky garlic aioli spread that just takes this recipe to another level. We'll season our fish with lots of incredible um, spices, deep fry it until it's nice and crispy. And then I like to put everything together on sweet brioche bread buns. They are just the best for this sandwich. You guys are going to love all the flavors from the crispy fish that refresh slaw everything tastes amazing for the full list of ingredients and the written instructions make sure to head on down into that video description box and follow the link over to my website I'm gonna have everything online there for you guys meanwhile let's get started on this epic sandwich I'll start things with my simple cabbage slaw and I really like the simplicity of it it really complements that crispy delicious fish just slice the cabbage real nice and thin Drop that into a mixing bowl. Next up, a bit of green cabbage. And you really only need a, like about a cup and a half of each. Add in a couple tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro and squeeze in the juice from one lime. It's going to add a little bit of zestiness and freshness to the recipe. Add just a splash of avocado oil. You can also use olive oil and season just a bit of salt, not too much. And then toss this all together and our slaw is ready to go. Moving on to our smoky, garlicky aioli. This incredible spread is so delicious and it just really makes the sandwich for me. So I've measured out about a third cup of mayonnaise and we're going to need two garlic cloves. Grab a garlic press, add the pressed garlic into the mayo. I love having a combination of both fresh garlic and garlic powder. Both of them have slightly different flavor profiles and they're gonna add lots of great flavor. <laughs> Then I'm going to sprinkle in about half a teaspoon of each smoked paprika, garlic powder, chipotle chili powder, and some onion powder. Then we'll just give this all a good mix and this aioli spread is ready to go. Let's switch gears to the star ingredient of this recipe, the fish. Now, I've tried the sandwich with several different types of fish and I ultimately settled on mahi-mahi. I love this variety for the sandwich. It's like a firm but flaky texture and it's buttery. It's so delicious and it holds its shape really well once it's fried, it doesn't get like all mushy and weird. But you can make this recipe with just about any variety of fish that you have on hand. Just make sure to grab a paper towel and pat it dry really well so that the spices and seasonings stick better to the fish. Now we're going to use the same spices that I just used for my uh, garlic aioli spread. We're going to have some salt, pepper, a garlic onion powder, the chipotle chili, and the smoked paprika. And we're just going to generously sprinkle these spices over this fish. You want to make sure you get it well seasoned on both sides. Next, I'm going to show you guys how I set up my fry station, but first I'm going to get my oil preheating because it does take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna be using this deeper kind of uh, saute pan. You can use one with a taller sides, and I'm going to add in a couple cups of canola oil. This is my preferred oil for deep frying. It's not really expensive, and it doesn't have a lot of flavor, so it doesn't um, affect the fish. Pour that in and we're going to heat this oil until it reaches 325 degrees Fahrenheit. 
For frying my fish, I'm first going to dredge it in flour, then we're going to dip it into our beaten eggs, and then into our panko breadcrumbs, which is what's going to make the fish extra crispy and delicious. And I like to use like these flat little trays, makes for um, quick dredging and dipping and for easy cleanup. And then just break the eggs into your tray. Grab a fork and beat them until they're really well beaten and smooth. And we'll need about a cup of these panko breadcrumbs. All right, let's do this. My oil has come up to temperature. We're gonna grab our fish, and the first thing we need to do is dredge it in the flour. And make sure you get it covered on all sides and kind of um, on the bottom, on the top. And then we'll drop it into our egg mixture. Make sure that it gets coated, well coated, and the eggs are what's going to help the panko breadcrumbs crumbs stick to the surface. And then drop it into the breadcrumbs. You wanna make sure the fish is well coated. These are what's going to make the fish extra crispy. And I usually fry two pieces of fish at a time, so I'm going to very gently and carefully slip it into the hot oil. And then the frying time for the fish really depends on the thickness of the filet that you're using. These can take anywhere from five to eight minutes. Um, I like to use a little handy digital thermometer. I'll include the link to the one I have. I love this one. I have several in my kitchen. You want to cook the fish until it reaches 145 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. Well, once my fish is finished frying, I'm going to set it onto a wire rack. And I've just placed it over a paper towel arranged on a tray. This way the fish is gonna stay nice and crispy as it cools. My second batch of fish is finishing up, so I need to get started on my toasted brioche buns. What I like to do is just place them under the broiler in the oven, just arrange them on a sheet, and then broil them until they're nice and golden. And since brioche buns are already really rich and buttery, I don't add any butter to the top of them. But once your fish is done frying, just let it cool in the cooling rack for at least like five to 10 minutes. It's gonna be super, super hot. Um, when you just take it out of the oil, I have everything ready to go. My buns are toasted. I have the cabbage slaw, our spread, and now let's put it all together. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add some of that spread onto the toasted bun. And I like to add a nice generous serving of this. Just give it a nice spread. Oh, I love that toasted brioche bread. It's gonna taste so good. And before I add on my fish, I also like to add a little bit of creamy avocado. It just adds a little something extra special to the sandwich. Salt and pepper. Grab a piece of your crispy, beautiful fish. Add that on top. And for some freshness, I think a little squeeze of lime juice is a must. Top things off with a heaping serving of the cabbage slaw right on top. And that's it, you're ready to enjoy. And that's it for my crispy fish sandwich recipe. This smells so good, I can't wait to dig in and enjoy while it's still piping hot. For the full list of ingredients and the written instructions, make sure to head on down into that video description box and follow the link over to my website. I have everything online on my website, including this recipe with metric measurements. All right, let's get a little taste of this. I already squeezed a little bit of lime juice on there. That lime juice just really brightens everything up. I think it's a must. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze the back of the sandwich. We can get this in. Mmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Seriously, the most delicious fish sandwich ever. This recipe is gonna blow any other sandwich that you've had out of the water. I just love all the textures, all the flavors, amazing. Mmm, mm-hmm. Mm. I love that smoky, garlicky spread that we have in there, that crispy, refreshing cabbage slaw, and that fish. Oh my gosh, it is so good. 
It's just hot, flaky, buttery, and I love all the spices that we added on there. The smoked paprika, the chipotle chili, everything combined together is incredible. You guys are gonna love this recipe. Run, don't walk to your grocery store, get all the ingredients and enjoy the sandwich. You guys are gonna thank me later. Thank you guys so much for watching my latest episode. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. It really helps my videos and I'll see you next time with a new recipe. I'm gonna dig in and enjoy the rest of this. It's so good. Oh yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.